Sitin recently arrived at this sanctuary in Samburu County in northern Kenya. She was found near her dead mother with no food or water. Her caretaker says she is settling into her new home, which she shares with several other orphans. They believe her mother may have starved to death. We are feeding them after every three hours, and each and every baby is getting two liters per feed. And when you see now, um, we are buying those milk from the local people, and uh, it's goat milk. And remember also, goats in the community, they need food to eat. Scientists say this is the longest dry spell in decades. Four rainy seasons have failed and more than four million people, their livestock and wildlife have been affected. Most of these calves have lost their mothers. Some have been abandoned because of various reasons, but a bigger problem is because of a drought that has affected parts of the country. Elephant keepers say they're worried. Thousands of elephants crisscross this region along migration corridors they have used for centuries. Communities have learned to coexist peacefully with wildlife. But things are changing. Extreme weather patterns, population growth and the loss of natural habitat has increased competition for food and water. Neleponi Lenali's husband was killed by an elephant last year. He left eight children and his wife says she is struggling to look after them without him. And this man broke both his legs recently when a bull cornered him. I feel hopeless. I can't work anymore. I can't walk. I can't provide for my family. Sometimes when I see elephants, I just want to walk up to them so they can kill me. Wildlife activists and government officials have created community-run conservancies, but the combined effects of the current crisis are unprecedented. They don't have pastures, they don't have water. And that is why you realize that even the human themselves, they are now going to underground water. We don't have water moving in those streams. Back at the village, residents take turns keeping watch to scare off any elephants. But they also know the big grazers need water. It's a delicate balance of survival. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Samburu County in northern Kenya.